is now 1052, and as you know, all eyes are on the Gulf as Hurricane Milton makes its way towards us here in Central Florida. This comes as we continue to see devastating images from Hurricane Helene just a week and a half ago. Of course, back-to-back -back storms, people feeling pretty anxious yeah. about that. Licensed mental health counselor Chantal Abbas is joining us right now. Sorry, Chantal, we're all a little discombobulated around here. <laughs> <laughs> so nice to have you. Hi, Thanks Chantal. for coming in. Nice to see you. Listen, Morning. storm stress is real, yeah. and a lot yeah. of people suffer from storm anxiety, and especially when you haven't had a hurricane in a while, or you haven't had, to, or maybe you're new to Florida, you never had to deal with one, right? Mm -hmm. what, what kind of advice do you give to folks? Well, number one, recognizing that. I think it's in the air. Even once you walk out and go to the grocery store, everyone's scrambling, mm -hmm. and, and so not trying not to catch on to that anxiety, which is very difficult, but keeping yourself grounded and remembering what you need to do to prepare. So I really like to encourage people, keep track of the storm, do what you need to prepare, evacuate if necessary, stay updated. But after that, stay away from social media, stay away from false news, stay away from any sensationalism that can cause that. If someone has been through a very traumatic storm or event in the past, these images that they're seeing can also trigger a lot of trauma, yeah. and they need to be aware of that and, and careful for their own mental health on taking care of that. Well, let's talk about some kind of coping strategies that people can use as they try to make their way through the storm and whatever it may bring. Well, after we're already prepared and aware, I think keeping the schedule as much as possible, your what we have, schedule. your normal mm -hmm. daily routine, mm -hmm. you know, if you're able to exercise or your regular wake up time, go to sleep time, schools are closed, making sure you have activities for the kids, trying to engage in some fun, some board games, reading, and trying to stay away from watching too much that's going to cause anxiety or hyper stress on, on yourself and right. your family. Well, I think you hit on an important point that when when there's sensationalism mm -hmm. when there's hype mm -hmm. it, it it can lead to an emotional reaction and can lead to decision making that maybe is based on impulse and emotion rather than rationality exactly and instead of facts mm -hmm. and I I've had this experience myself because I have a condo on Anna Maria Island mm -hmm. and I'm getting messages and seeing things and and there's nothing I can do I can't go over there I can't help out right now and so looking at all that hearing all that is only making me more anxious so focusing on what we can control what can we control in the situation to make it better and also focusing on those that are less fortunate than us the elderly the disabled people in storm surge areas what can we do to provide support and help and assistance for them because when we take the focus off of ourselves mm -hmm. and we focus on others it actually does help the anxiety to decrease yeah it's a beautiful thing and also even you know, it's a balance because you want to be prepared right yes. and also being prepared helps to take away some of the anxiety as opposed to running around like a chicken with your head chopped off at the last minute right right yeah right preparation is so important yeah so to kind of put a fine bow on it because we're all you know dealing with this after you know a week and a half after Helena and now here we are with Milton, right. right? And so there could be a little bit of um, kind of storm fatigue, right, at this point. What would you say to put a bow on how people should react as we move forward over the next several days? Well, taking care of ourselves, practicing, even if we get into a hyper state of anxiety, box breathing, breathing in for four seconds, releasing for four seconds. Mm -hmm. I just did it. Did you mm -hmm. do it? Yes. <laughs> I will be doing it for you. Thank you, Chantal. Is this work for TV meteorologists too? Exactly. Yes. Okay. Can we hire you to come stand in the storm exactly. center for the next three days? We're going to need you to stay. <laughs> Her brother does work here, by the way, so yes. brother in law. Brother in law. So, okay. so yes, we can. you can stand with Rodney in the weather center. You can help with the cues. Oh, amazing. And you can help with the breathing exercises. I'll talk to him about okay, that. Okay, please. Please. Yes. 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 Chantal is Chantal part of the family. She's part of the family. family. Great to have you as always. Thanks for Thank having you so me. much. Thank you. And of course, uh, we're going to be checking yeah. back in with Brooks. You're going to do another update here in a couple minutes. Is that uh, right? That is right. We'll be on Fox 35 News Plus with uh, Garrett Weimer over there on our free Fox 35 local app. We'll also have uh, news cut-ins where we break in with new information at the top of the hour. And of course, Fox 35 Orlando.com, the Fox local app. Um, this is a major hurricane right yeah. now, and it looks to bring its impacts Wednesday night into Thursday with wind inland and power outages, as well as heavy rain and flooding for the Orlando region. Impacts will be a lot worse on the Gulf Coast. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get through it together and we'll give you the information that you need to help you make the right decisions. And we're going to we're going to keep all that irrationality out of it. Right? <laughs> yeah. right. Chantal oh, gave us yeah. great advice. She Thanks really so much did, for right? being with us this morning. And of course, uh, we'll be back with Brooks here in just a couple of minutes right here on Fox 35. Take care, everybody.